Now, when we're looking at your backswing, okay, we were talking about how this leg instantly locks out, okay, boom, and this knee goes towards the golf ball, and you just sit everything into your back, in, into your front side, okay? So there's no good load of pressure into your back foot, and you just kind of duff them and don't hit them well. We just had you hit the best shot of your life, as yes. you told everyone on the range. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so set up. Now, what you're feeling when everything starts going back is that this knee is gonna work in, and this leg's gonna extend a little bit, but it's still gonna have flexion in it, right? We want that knee slightly flexed out. If it completely stretches and gets locked out early, and gets locked out at all, you're not gonna be able to make a dynamic movement down to the golf ball. So go ahead and set up. Give me that leg movement up to the top. Now, you're a big guy and we're compromising here, right? If you try and get a long backswing, that elbow just straight up goes. So you feel like you have a shorter backswing going on, you're gonna be in a good position, right? You're gonna be able to make a good dynamic movement. So feel that short backswing, feel that knee come in, and then feel you're gonna swing out to the right, okay? So let's see you hit one. Smashed, it, it, it overhooked, but that's absolutely smashed, right? That's solid contact, that's what you want. Now in your downswing, I want you to feel that you're gonna push your pressure out of that foot. So it's loaded well into the right foot, right? Yes. Push your pressure and try and get it into the lead side okay. and everything turning through when you're swinging your hands out to the right, okay. okay? Try and get it forward, see what we can do. Then we'll work on club face a little bit. It's good. Went a little right, hit it a little thin. You could get it a little bit more forward, okay? okay. But that's the feel that you need to work on in order to be able to make that good, solid contact most okay. of the time, okay? The first thing we worked on was getting your grip strong, and it's perfect, okay? So you were a huge open facer, everything was going left for you, right? Now, when we set up, we have to work on the takeaway, okay? And we have to understand what this wrist has to do, okay? If I get in there with my lead wrist, so for a left-hander, your right wrist, and I get in here and I get extension, okay? That's gonna open that club face. So you have to try and do something to shut it down. For you, it's just stall everything out and throw your hands at it and you were massively struggling with contact, right? You're on the steeper end of the spectrum, but I think getting you with a club face functional is the most important first step, okay? So set up, put that strong grip on. That might be a little strong, there you go, good. As we go back, we wanna feel that this wrist is going to start flattening out, okay? It doesn't have to be quite that much. Right there would be perfect, okay? See how that's toed down about 25 degrees? That's the ideal position for you at the top, okay? okay? Now from here, when we go up to the top, it's just setting up here, okay? That's the, the position we want you to get into. You don't need to feel like you're swinging really long. Just get that set and feel the arms pushed away from you okay. with, that, with that wrist somewhat flat. Now, a great drill for you, go ahead and set up, is just to get in here, hinge that wrist up a little bit, curl it down a little bit so you can see it's it's pointed right, okay? Remember, we're trying to get some forward shaft light. And then from here, just turn and lift your arms, right? Don't do anything to your wrist. That's gonna put you in a good position. That will, that will train you to start doing less with your wrist. You get in here and you get that really extended and open everything up, right there is a perfect position. So go ahead and set up. Let's take it back together into a perfect position. Okay, there you go. Now you see how much shorter your backswing feels? Mm -hmm. That's gonna allow you to be in a position where your hands work more out to the golf ball, club falls behind you. From there, it can just work right around the corner and put you in a good position to hit it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So feel the shorter backswing, feel everything curling down, put yourself in a good position. We talked about how you are still getting really scoopy through impact, right? Now, we wanna put you in a position where the club can move effectively through the ball and a lot of that starts with how we get you up to the top, okay? So you like to roll that club way inside. It gets way behind you, then you stand it up late, you go real long, and then you try and pull it down with your hands, okay? So we have to train you not to pull down with your hands, but first we have to get the glove to the top, right? Okay, so go ahead and set up. When you're coming back, the first feel is gonna be that that club head 
stays outside of your hands, okay? We don't want to get a, let's get that more on there. That's going to help you keep that in and push that thumb in. There you go. Okay. From here, we want to feel like everything is just hinging up, okay? okay? Not rolling behind okay. you. So from P2, club okay. parallel, up. Okay. Now one of the other feels we worked on, go ahead and set up there, is that when you go back, we want to keep this a little bit lower to the ground with that hinge, okay? Don't feel like you're going to lift your arms up okay. early, okay? So show me, go to P2. Keep everything low, there you go, good. Now, start hinging up and create that support position at the top. Now, let's get the arms pushed away. So that's a really good feel for you at the top of your backswing, all right? I want you to be able to do that every time. Now, go ahead and set up. Let's do the drill we did where we're gonna train you not to pull your hands. We talked about how you get in here and pull your hands out in front of your pivot, right? and we wanna be in a position where we're letting your chest do all the work, okay? So just hold it with the lead hand, and we're gonna take it up top, and we're gonna hook that underneath. There you go, push it away from your body a little bit more. There you go, and we're gonna hold that hand and make a downswing from there without a golf ball. So just turn on it, there you go. Let's get rid of that golf ball, set up there again. Let's get in here and hook like this. Beautiful, okay. hold that, there you go. Now take that up, hold it there, turn it down. Just rip your body through. Good. So that club starts to fall behind you when you do it like that, okay? Don't get in a position where you're just pulling out everything. Feel like you're pinching that lead arm and just turning your chest on the golf ball. Do it one more time and put some speed into it. Good. Beautiful. That's the feel I want you to have on every single golf shot, okay? So with your golf swing, we talked about how steep you were. Now, there was zero turn really happening out of your lower body in the beginning. Okay, then we work to get you in a position, go ahead and set up, where this hip really started opening up. Take it back, there you go, go up to the top. Now, and you really sat into it, so you see that, that movement there? Now, I want you to feel that you're gonna get this hip a little bit higher, so you don't sit too much pressure back onto the front side. And you can push down in the inside part of that foot, right? So set up for me again, feel the pelvis is high, get that pelvis more up, butt more under you, get taller. Bend your knees less. There you go, round more here. There you go. Don't let your arms fold down there, hang down. That's good. Now that's gonna make it easier on you. Start turning back for me. There you go. Now, there's nothing moving back on your front foot. So that's a perfect position, okay? That's where we need to feel with our body. So go ahead and set up for me. Now we need to start looking at what the hands are doing, okay? When you go back, we talked about how we needed to sequence everything. So we wanted to feel everything went low to here, and we got the butt of the club pointing at the right hip, okay? From here, we can lift up and feel this right arm is going to get a little bend to it, and we feel like we just have a three-quarter backswing, right? That puts you in a great position at the top to do whatever you want. We actually started to see that shaft shallow down behind you. That's really good. But I'm gonna give you a great drill here. Go ahead and set up to make sure you are getting the perfect takeaway. So go ahead and put this through your grip. Okay, hold that through your grip. There you go. So you see how that sets up just off your hip? Now, when you go back, I want you to concentrate on keeping this on your hip in initial transition, right? Then when you lift it up, you get it pointing behind you and that's gonna put you in a good dynamic position at the top of your backswing every time, okay? That's good turn, that's good set, that's a perfect place to be with that drill, okay? So start it on your hip and then turn back, go ahead, set up. Turn it back to the top, keep it connected to that hip, good. Beautiful, that's a perfect position, that's what you need to do every single time. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.